Hello, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate you. In today's video, I want to share with you all another way that we can go about using the tattoo journal to further our skills. If you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be bringing a lot more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all under Daniel Yuck. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well. If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. The tattoo journal is available on Amazon.com. I will leave links for you in the description below or you can head over to Amazon.com and type in the tattoo journal and or Daniel Yuck to navigate to the product page. Your version of the tattoo journal is not going to have this great bar right here as I did mention in the in-depth reviews of the tattoo journal I will also link those up here so you can check out the in-depth reviews but just to confirm your copy will not have this bar right here in the middle keep in mind that we can go about using the tattoo journal however we see fit if we are just starting out with lining by all means you can keep it on a flat surface and then go ahead and line from A to B as you see fit and practice that way for me personally as we start advancing I like to challenge myself a little bit more and I want to give you all a a more practical way that we can take it a step further with the tattoo journal right here I have a Scott shop wipe roll that I have it's a brand new roll basically I have some saran wrap and then I have adhesive grip tape and the tattoo journal I'm going to be using this to take my lining experience and development to the next level where I'm gonna start is I'm gonna get my saran wrap and I'm going to wrap it around the entire Scott shop wipe you can choose to do this or you don't have to. For me personally, I want to wrap the Scott Shop Wipe roll like so. So now I have Saran Wrap all around the Scott Shop Wipe roll here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this adhesive grip tape and I'm going to place it a little bit around the roll right here so that way I get a little bit more grip. And then you'll see for what? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around like this so that way I don't use too much. So here I have my final product that I'm going to be using to advance my lining here. Now I'm not sure if this makes any sense at this moment but allow me to go ahead and make sense of this here for you. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go into the tattoo journal and I'm simply going to find a page that I want to work on lines and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it like so on the row and then I'm going to begin lining with curvature now. So what this is, is I put the saran wrap around the Scott shop wipes just to kind of practice hygiene, I guess that's what that's for. And then for this right here, the adhesive wrap is so that way the tattoo journal doesn't go sliding around on the saran wrap. And then from here, I can either use a pin like this you could put a grip around the pin as well to mimic a tattoo machine or you can use a tattoo machine with a ballpoint cartridge as you see right here to get from point a to b now i'm going to begin practicing my lining so you can find your tools of your choice figure out what you want to use and as you can see now i'm tattooing on this curvature and there's no slide at all within this setup right here it's actually really comfortable and this is an easy way that we can go about advancing our lining experience and challenging ourselves a little bit more by not doing the lines on a totally flat surface. One thing's for sure is that this is a lot more challenging tattooing on curvature versus a flat surface. And again, if you're just starting, go ahead and build up some momentum and familiarity on a flat surface and kind of figure out some fundamentals on a flat surface and then go ahead and challenge yourself like this as you start advancing with your lines. It is perfectly okay to start simple and then build your way up to something like this. So here's a side profile view. Simply place the book over. Find a comfortable position that you're going to want to tattoo in and then begin your exercises. One thing's for sure is that this is definitely challenging 
and it definitely pushes the envelope in terms of comfortability and really forces me to try different positions and postures and different ways to go about applying and creating lines. So being able to challenge yourself like this is also a plus for me when it comes to exercising in the tattoo journal. I can pull the lines towards me or I can move them away and you can see I have to adjust, find comfortability within my hand. You can see that the entire book is in fact on the roll right here. Make sure I'm on frame here for you all. And then you're just going to want to repeat this and develop that discipline to really focus in and finish these lines correctly without feeling the need to rush and or cut corners. Do it to the best of your ability each and every time so that we can really develop a good sense of discipline when it comes to applying lines. Let me stay out of the way here. That right there is how we could go about utilizing the tattoo journal to our benefit. And I hope that this can help you in a better direction or at the very least allow you to progress and advance more for your tattooing career. If you have any questions at all, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as his YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well. If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. You have a great day.